creatures are free. It's time to conquer Earth. Alpha, we just escaped. Recruit a team of teenagers with attitudes. Some might call the development of the Mega CD Power Rangers game a little bit lazy considering it uses existing footage from actual episodes of the show overlaid with button prompts. But if anything, this is an ingenious move. Think about what you like about Power Rangers. Low budget special effects? Campy overacted stories? Kung Fu that's fit for Saturday morning? Dudes in rubber monster suits? These things are incredibly difficult to replicate using the sort of computing power that was available in consoles at the time. So why not just draw directly from the show and not lose any of that stuff that you like about it in the first place? This is what the Mega CD version of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers does, and it's all the better for it. Thankfully, because this is a late Mega CD release, we also get a nice big window on the action, and it plays back at quite a high frame rate, which means it doesn't suffer as badly as some of the earlier full motion video titles on the console. The image is very sharp, and despite some added audio hiss, you can hear everything very clearly. Yes, even this casual racism. These two are mine. Get it? He's a hip, urban, black guy, so he has to do a cool dance before he lays the smack down! Yeah, let's try and forget about that, shall we? On the whole, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers is a great laugh and correctly identifies what fans of the show actually like about it and serves it to them in video game form. It's obviously a bit basic as games go, but it correctly captures why people are still nostalgic for this slab of 90s stupidity. Also, I'll never be able to hear Zack shouting his Zord's name without thinking of this. Mastodon! <laughs> 